This is a how to uh, valve adjustment on a Honda SH uh, 150i 2010 model. So take off the maintenance cover, take off, take your spark plug out, and take off your variator cover or drive cover. That way you, you can spin the crank. Um, you need a 10 millimeter. So basically, there's these two bolts here. Another one out. This thing has several hoses connected to it. So this is the uh, emissions hose right here. These both of these actually. Actually, this is the uh, crankcase uh, breather. Um, and this is the a par, par valve uh, emissions uh, hose. So do that. Uh, wiggle the cover around a little bit. Now you can just kind of move this aside. Let's see. I can move this aside and I might have to take off the hoses. Okay. So I didn't have to take off the hose, which is a good thing. Oh, this oil. Let me grab, grab a rag to wipe off that oil. Don't want oil dripping everywhere, making a mess, right? So. Do that. Okay, from here, um, you see basically the uh, the rock arms, the cam in here, um, timing chain, etc. So normally, how Honda recommends it is that you're supposed to set it on top dead center. And how you find that is uh, you can actually spin the with the variator, so the drive covers obviously spin that, and and taking the spark plug off makes it a lot easier to uh, to spin it, so you don't have any compression. So basically, what you need to do is you need to line up. Uh, how Honda recommends it is that you line up. Uh, there's some lines here on the uh, on the cam chain uh, sprocket. You line that up with along with the uh, on this back this side here. If you take off this button here. Um, there should be a mark, uh, a timing mark in there. So you keep on spinning that until that lines up. So, so that lines up along with, along with uh, the marks on here. But actually, I, I actually don't do that because I'm, I'm too lazy to take off that end. I'm, and I'm also kind of lazy to go back and forth while I'm, while I'm spinning the crank and you know looking for the timing mark and you know and looking here. So what I usually do is I just keep on spinning my uh, my variator and I see where the you know each time the, the cam lobe comes up and either activates the exhaust or the intake you obviously see the rocket arm move the exhaust first and the intake it moves so what I do is I usually uh, set it so that both both the uh, lobe is actually facing facing in towards the uh, towards in that way towards the uh, um, uh, towards a you know towards a pist piston you know uh, so that way I know both cams are basically uh, uh, in that way I, and uh, I I know that uh, uh, I'm at the basically the most slack uh, the most slack position as far as the cam goes so so how much uh, uh, movement I have here is good uh, and I could also you can also tell by you know looking at the lines usually that li the line will uh, will line up with the uh, the the case here. Uh, there's, there's two positions to those lines. When you crank it one direction, it will actually the, you know, the, the cams will open. While that's the other direction, it won't be. Uh, so, so that's good right there. And with the with the cams out of that, you know you don't have to be at it, the piston doesn't actually have to be at top dead center. Um, uh, as long as the cams are both facing. Uh, to, you know, facing towards the uh, the piston instead of instead of the cams uh, facing uh, towards the rock arms, you should be good. So, see that? So I'm good there. And the valve spec for for uh, 
for the SH is uh, is six thousandths. So six thousandths of an inch for the intake. Here's my filler gauge, six thousandths. Um, inside that in. What I'm feeling for is basically I'm feeling for a little, a really light resistance. If it feels tight, that means it's probably li probably is. Uh, so about six thousandths. That actually feels pretty good. Uh, usually you do this valve check. Uh, actually, it feels. Yeah, it actually feels good. It's real, really. It's real light resistance. How you could double check on that to see if it's too loose is that you actually go one, one bigger to so go to seven thousandths. And seven thousandths should be pretty tight. Uh, seven thousandths is still within spec, so basically it's at six thousandths for the intake, give or take one thousandths. So the seven thousandths should be uh, should have more resistance, but it should still fit uh, in there. And that one still fits, and it definitely feels tighter. Uh, for sure, that if I go to eight thousandths and it won't, it shouldn't fit at all. Or I mean, yeah, you, you basically have to like force it in there uh, to, to you know, force it side in. Um, so, so nope, eight thousand doesn't doesn't uh, want to go in. So I'm actually good. So my intake is actually good, six thousandths. The exhaust is going to be uh, ten thousandths. So get my ten thousand gauge here. Uh, in there, this one feels. Let's see, it feels so. When, usually, when you side this in there, you have to make sure that the uh, the filler gauge is is flat against the uh, uh, the valves, the the two ends where, where you're sliding through. So, if you put your filler gauge in there and it's kind of twisted a little bit, that will actually create a lot of resistance. So, it, so you, so you could get a false reading. So, make sure that it's completely flat against there, and then you could side it. This one feels pretty good. A uh, little bit light on the resistance, I think. So let me try a uh, uh, number 11, or excuse me, 11 uh, thousandths, and see how much resistance there is in there. So, okay, that's that's heavier resistance right there. Still a little bit on the light side though. Uh, let me try a. Uh, 12, so a 12 shouldn't shouldn't fit. If the, the 12, I could squeeze in, so I could squeeze in the 12, and it has a pretty tight fit. So I think it's a little bit just a tad bit on the loose side. It might be a thousand uh, on the loose side. So normally when you do this, you do a break-in check. Uh, usually, you know, Honda recommends uh, 600 miles. I usually do it at at a thousand miles, but I actually bought this bike used at um, at 3,000 miles. So so I'm, I'm so I'm guessing this is the first time it's ever been checked, uh, potentially. Uh, so these little, you know, uh, this type of uh, tabit uh, valve adjusters, or, or um, they use a nine millimeter, the nuts on here, use nine millimeter. And you see a little flathead on there as well. Uh, let's see. Well, I bet I need to go grab a flathead. Let me go. Actually, no, I could use my filler gauge. Um, so I'm gonna loosen that up Just a little bit. So this is where the sensitive part is right here. Uh, usually when you loosen this up, the valve uh, tap it also lo uh, loosens up a little bit as well. Um, so when you tighten it, it actually it actually uh, it actually um, will get get a little tighter. So you, so pay attention to where that 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 valve was or the tap it was. Uh, as I screw this in, I'm just gonna give it. Maybe maybe like a, a a sixteenth of a turn on that, an eighth of a, or a sixteenth of a turn or so. So hopefully that's good. Uh, just, I'm gonna just do this lightly with the open end side, then I will crank it down with the closed end side.
not much clearance on this thing. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's pretty tight. Okay, now I'm gonna try my 12 again, and the 12 shouldn't slide in this time. Um, okay, so it's, oh, 12's not gonna go in, so that's good. So it's tight enough. Let me check if it's too tight or not. Let me try an 11. If 11 can't get in, that means it's too tight. Um, okay, so 11 goes in, and it, it's, it has a pretty good amount of uh, resistance, so that's good. Uh, so that's good right there. Uh, feels pretty good. Let me try a 10. A 10, a 10 thousandths. That should be just... Um, should feel just about right as far as the resistance goes. It should be pretty light. So. so it's always kind of awkward when you're holding the filler gauge. Because, um, you know, that, that angle doesn't it doesn't sit exactly flat with the uh, with your your um your valve uh heads there the tablets so it's, it's a lot of resistance so lots of times i actually take the the filler gauge off off its hold it's a whole packet and then i could just hold it by itself just gives me a better feel so actually i think it's, it might be a little bit on the tight side so i think it's a little bit on the tight side uh so i turned the, the thing a little bit too much there so let me uh just bring this back out a little bit okay so actually when i loosen it up you, you actually see the uh the uh the center there uh move as well uh hopefully uh that movement was enough but when you close it up it also tightens up as well so um what happens when I tend it up again? Okay, so oh, still feels the same like I did before. So this time I'm gonna just tiny, tiny bit of. Uh, I'm gonna move that just a tiny bit and hold this still. Move this just a tiny bit. I mean, it's literally, you know. You know, maybe even a sixteenth of a turn, or possibly even less than that, uh, of of a turn, um, would be enough. Okay, okay now put this in there. Okay. Okay, now it feels loose again. So I was pretty much right at the right at the border point of uh, so so I think this one feels a little on the loose side. Because if when I have lined up just right, I feel basically no resistance at all. So I mean I barely turned that that uh, the center just barely turned it. So I'm gonna have to turn it just a tiny bit more, maybe a thirty seconds of a turn. And so this is basically how you know how valve adjustments go. It's it's always very sensitive. Um, you know, one thing you could potentially do is is you could actually uh, you could potentially put the filler gauge in there, right? Uh, tighten down the center, uh, bring it down the center until it, until it touches. Until it's, you know it's really light resistance then you can screw this in and hopefully the the, the setter doesn't turn but i find that you know when, when you turn this outside nut here it usually turns the center as well so so it's just it's just a matter of you know going back to it a few times um and getting it getting it just right oh so also when you do this remember you have to do this when the engine is cold, uh, so basically, uh, park it, park it overnight, right? Park it overnight. Engine is cold. Uh, otherwise, if you if you do it with a warm engine, a hot engine, the reading won't be uh, it won't be accurate. Okay, well, that feels a little better. Real, really light resistance. Very very light resistance. I'm thinking I'm gonna go. 
let's see, let me let me try a let me stick in a uh, um, slightly bigger one. So let me try a, a twelve. So a twelve shouldn't fit, right? A twelve is a as out of out of specification. It's too big. So that was a ten I had earlier. So this one's a twelve. Twelve. So I could squeeze the twelve in. Heavy resistance, but I could squeeze it in. So it tells tells me that I'm a little bit on the on the uh, uh, on the this end. It's my ten. I mean, it has more resistance than, than the previous adjustment, but it's still really really light. Hardly hardly any drag at all. So and you see how sensitive this is, you know, as far as um, as far as the adjustment goes, so it, it does take several times of doing this to get it just right. Hopefully that did it. And I'm barely moving the uh, I'm barely moving the center the center uh, at all. Just, just a tiny bit. Okay, get that 10 back in there. Okay, looks like that one didn't... Looks like that one didn't, didn't change at all. Let's see. Yeah. So, that one didn't change at all. I'm gonna have to go back into it again. No. Uh, it's, it's taking kind of long, it doesn't it? Uh... So loosen it up again, tighten it just a tiny bit. Tiny bit. So you know as far as the labor goes, it's not really intensive, especially this one. I mean this bike you don't have to take off, you know. The, all the plastics to to get to to the cover, so that's the cool thing about it. So this is a uh, twelve thousandths. See if it goes in. Okay, so it it's definitely harder to go in. Let's see how it feels on the ten ten thousandths. Man, I'm still a little bit on the loose side. So I'm looking at my uh, the alignment of the the slot, the flat slot there, in relation to the engine. It looks like it's a little pass. It'll pass horizontal. Um, when it's fully cinched down. So I'm going to go a little bit more here. Okay, just turn it a little bit more. Switch it down. Hopefully, this will be the last one. Okay. It doesn't feel like it's changing at all. Okay, that's that's even feels pretty tight on the the twelve thousand. Feels pretty tight, but I'm not quite happy with it. I feel like the Like the ten, ten thousand is not quite quite enough. But anyways, you know, I don't want to bore you guys. So basically, you know, you keep on going at it until uh, until it feels right. So you got that really light drag uh, on the fiddle gauge and uh, and button it up. When you button it up, you know, make sure, make sure that your uh, gaskets are all uh, it, you know the gas the rubber gasket here didn't move at all. It didn't shift. Uh, wipe the oil off. Uh, that everything's you know the two ends are, are tightened. If, if you loosen up the top at all. Uh, and basically button this back up and it has those two bolts right so that's 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 about it uh, I'm gonna continue on and I don't I basically don't want to bore you guys uh, but you know that's how it goes thank you